Aloha everyone and welcome to American Samoa. This is a really exciting day and has been years in the making. The last time Nautilus was here was 2019 and we're so excited to be back for the 2024 expeditions Emamana Onata Ifale 1 and 2. These expeditions are made possible by the National Marine Sanctuary of American Samoa, Ocean Exploration Trust, the Ocean Exploration Cooperative Institute, and so many partners. So for the last three weeks, we've been out learning about these waters, answering questions that were created based on community workshops and input. And by the time you're watching this, Nautilus will have set sail again, and we will be out for an ROV expedition, taking a look at the beautiful biodiversity and learning about all the features underwater here. I'm so excited to be here next to EV Nautilus in American Samoa in the middle of two expeditions that are working to understand the deep water conditions in American Samoa's waters. These types of, of expeditions are really rare to be able to bring so many different technologies together and to have them all working together to understand the ocean from the surface to the midwaters to the deep sea volcanoes and all the way down to the abyssal ocean. This day is so exciting. We have hundreds of local community members, educators, students, government officials here with us on Nautilus, touring, getting to know our different technology, and we're really, really excited to share it with all of you. Welcome on board to everybody in American Samoa and the rest of the way around the world too. Let's go. We know exploration is all about cooperation, so we've got all our underwater vehicle friends here. We've got Hercules, little Hercules, Atalanta, Drix, Mezobot, Daplander, you name them, we're here looking to gather great data about American Samoa's waters and share it with this community. Emamana Onata Ifale has already accomplished a lot, including the first mapping of Vailulu'u by Nautilus in five years. We're so excited to learn about this very special underwater volcano about 100 miles east of where we are right now. The expedition also is looking into the mysterious midwater ocean above the seafloor and below the surface where we know so much is happening and yet have so many questions. So the multi-vehicles have been able to work together, making maps, gathering data, taking water samples that will help inform this next expedition coming up. With Drix operating from shore right here in Pongo Pongo, we have gotten great data that will inform the ROV dives that we hope you'll be tuning in and watching. Every year, we know millions of people explore with us on Nautilus Live, which we love, but it's extra special when we get to meet the community in place where the ship is and see them interacting with all of the team. Talofa. So today we started a workshop for our teachers just so they can learn, get a glimpse into uh, what all these expeditions are all about. Then we also got to share a lot of resources once again where they can go as educators on the website as well as utilizing the resources that we have made available for them. This is just the start of so much more. We are out exploring the ocean even now. So we hope you'll sign up for live interactions. You'll watch on nautiluslive.org, sending your questions in while we're in the control van. We wanna answer any question, big or small. And of course, follow along on social media for lots more from Hercules and the whole team. Big thank you to NOAA Ocean Exploration and all of our partners across the Ocean Exploration Cooperative Institute. None of this work would be possible without you and learning about our ocean and our planet is something that has a role for everyone. So let's go explore more. <laughs>